Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as Santa Ana. Well, Ejercito Mexicano, but Santa Ana, but a transmission from Dad. Today, the anniversary of my inception, I received a transmission from Tlaloc, or Dad, as he's insisted I start calling him. The most notable aspect of this letter is that it isn't tied up in normal Chico Net Corpet jargon. That meant, <clears throat> it must have been of both great importance and weighed greatly on Father's already aging and decrepit processors. It read as such. So I am sorry to say that I have not been more present since your creation, but in these recent months you have taken to my advice and teachings better than I could have ever expected. Predictions indicate that you will be better than I ever was, and that I can finally trust you to wield that power that destroyed our world. Happy birthday, son. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I love you. The Great Silo becomes owner of the Great Silo. Now core of ours, no longer core of Tlaloc, you get a nuke. And that Dominion of Tlaloc has given you his key to Armageddon Station. Ooh. Look at that. We have the great silos. Well, got a few more resources too. It's not bad. Ah, oh, thank you, Dad. Uh, but right now we're continuing some of our focuses. I really want to go to War with Shell's army, but they're currently at war with the Unity of Austin, which has nothing because they were taken out. I'm not sure why the pistol's not firing for them. But oh well. I kind of want to see if I can go to War with the Real. Can we go to War with the Real Pact early on? Would that be worth it? I mean, we. I just. I want to go to war so badly. But we just don't have the equipment, I should say, right now for it. We're still building up some civvies. I'm really, honestly, just waiting for Tlaloc to die. Um, so that we can actually build more stuff. So we can get our consumer goods back. Um, because right now, we are currently out quite a few thousand robots, which is not ideal. We actually, you know what? What if we were to go to war with the Houston Rockets? Isn't Houston a trade node? It is a trade node, and that's exactly what we want. So how about we do that? Now that will put us at war with the Brotherhood eventually. But in all honesty, what won't put us at war with the Brotherhood eventually? Uh, so let's try that. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, we'll see. And maybe we can naval invade, maybe we can. You never know. Uh, you guys go from there. And you can try to attack there too. If it goes well, great. If it does not, oh well. These guys are not looking super great. I remember back in my day, back when this all Texas stuff came out, Houston Rockets actually had a unique focus tree, which is actually really, really cool. But uh, since then, it's not uh, had a unique one, which is kind of sad. But we're going to crush Rebels if we can. Uh, follow up. I want more stability. I'll go and grab it. I read this one last time, so if you read this one, please go ahead. Did I read this one reopening the Reynosa Armory? Ah, yes. The Reynosa Armory. The largest and most well equipped in all of my territory. Wouldn't it be so simple to just find a stock of fat men inside? Well, I guess some miniguns will be enough. Superior designs. You see, when overheating, the back panel falls off. It's for additional cooling. How ingenious of pre-war scientists. And his innovations. I like to think my old core still have some tricks up their sleeves and switch in my robots. Maybe giving them additional processing power would help. An additional flamethrower cannon and menace of Mexico. My own legion will strike at Kaisar. Let him come. Let them all come. For every loyal Mexican that falls, ten gutsies shall take his place. Which is actually something we could probably use next, though. I would like to do more of this stuff to get more stability this way, but it doesn't seem like that's really possible. Let's see what we can do. They don't attack us. Can we attack them? And do okay? It looks like it so far, yes. Ooh, penalty hurts. Ah, you guys are training, aren't you? Well, how about you stop that? How do Death Claws eat our team? We can go through here, that's nice. These guys are pretty well stacked. We're gonna to need to really stack ourselves up too. Nice, we actually broke over here first. I don't think that would that we could do that yet. And we're trying to naval invade, and we're doing okay against, against their infantry. Not bad. This will be our, hopefully, naval general from here on out. I'm going to forget about him, though. Invader, good. Jungle rat, good. Good. An urban assault specialist as well. That sounds fantastic to us. Uh, projects, yes. Manpower, not really a big concern. Let's go get this one. Get more cap and growth. I like that. Beautiful. We actually navally invaded. Look at that. When is literally the last time I navally invaded in Old World Blues? I cannot remember. And they're attacking us for it. Love it. I take Houston, which I've been to multiple times. God, it's so hot down there. Better production costs? Yes, please. My God, do we need better production costs? Ooh. I'm gonna grab this too. Better recovery rate as well. Love it. You know what? Since you're here, don't worry about that other naval invasion you stuff. Just focus on this area down here with the rest of the army, and you'll be fine. Keep working on these guys. Uh, more organization, great. More output, great. More planning speed, great. Stuff we absolutely need. Look at all the divisions and trap. That's most of the army there. Over here, not so much. 
radio detection more radar detection ah the main army's been trapped I love it um, honestly well we don't have very much infantry we don't need more infantry uh, stuff like that I guess go with that. We are using some support equipment, not a ton. Uh, I think special here. Urban Soul Specialist. He's becoming more of a jungle rat down here, which is good. Very slowly, though, but that's alright. The Munt. Is that Beaumont? Probably. Beautiful. Uh, ah, good. Make sure everyone listens well. Let's get some more support. I could always use more. So we have Estados Unidos Mexicanos. And they're still going to go to war with them. Okay, so these guys are complete. Oh, they actually broke free. Oh, I remember I played Todd Howitzer before, but the game crashed when I got to a certain place. So I never really finished my uh, TAA Nation run. Which really sucks when, it doesn't, when you don't finish something like that. Um, over here, that's okay. Robots, can we improve our robots a little bit more, maybe? There's manpower frontline robots. Uh, still a little ahead of time. Come over here and maybe we'll get some better maintenance companies. Yes. Honestly, this might be the perfect time for us to go to war with these guys. To destroy the Rio Pact early on. Ish. Nice. Let's save that for now. And do that. Thank you very much. And we'll go here. Very good. Very, very, very good. And we do actually have, not coffee here today, but we actually have a monster. An Ultra Paradise Monster. Because I said, I want something other than coffee. Even though I'll probably have another cup of coffee later. I'm not an addict. I swear I can stop whenever I need to. Or want to. Totally. I love caffeine. Judge me harder. Um, still, Legion's looking pretty good, though. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure where to throw these guys, especially if we're on the line here. Um, I guess I could throw it like right here, perhaps. Just go wherever. Or anytime, anyways. You could do that, maybe. I'm mean, gonna take quite a while to like get that prepared, but that's okay. We have a little bit of time. Why not? These guys are going to back to kill each other. Uh, that's a lot of line to cover. So we got a lot of this cover and a lot of that to cover. But we're going to continue making more robots. So, Ooh, Civil War. We didn't improve the situation, but we are adding more bots to our group. So that's overall not bad. I would like to go to War Shell's Army. They have to go to War Shell's Army eventually, right? Oh, Arc Jet Schematics. I don't even get in a station. Then again, Clawlock is still alive, so I don't know if we can actually do that. More ground and plane attack? That'd be good. Or Robco? More reliability and breakthrough. Or this one would be better, maybe. It depends on speed. Eh, production cost goes down. Yeah, this is probably better overall. Uh, energy weapons, power cell stations. Besides, energy's not bad necessarily, too. And it's innovation. So if we go to war with them. Yeah, the lock. I want to see that go to war with these guys first. They have a peace deal until 20 Oh, maybe, maybe we should wait then, since they have to do that anyways. Or I'd say screw it, just go in anyways. I just don't think we can, we have the capabilities of doing that just yet. Give us a little bit more time first, maybe. Um, that's nice. Uh, it is October, which means we got to do a couple more things here. Maintenance companies, mobile support companies. Ooh, with all that. Defense breakthrough entrenchment, interesting. Um, that being said, we're gonna do Anna's innovations, but then we're gonna do acceptance. He's gotta die first though, I think. Oh, he does not exist. So how much more time? Is there a way to see? I mean, we're ba basically family here. Um, we're guaranteed can't justify war goals. La Locan, stewardess of Mex or steward of Mexico, helping hand. Oh, it's right here. Available member, 6%. 1.42 uh, 
of data banks to his children every day. He's suffering negative 75% stability. Holy crud. So, he's gonna die within the next, like, half year. So, that'll be good. Well, not good percent for us, but whatever. Attack and speed. Organization, though, is nice. But speed, I want the speed. Let's do this one, though. Because we get a slightly better production cost, more soft attack, and more defense for our robots. Because we did lose some of that um, with some of our abilities here. Which sucks, but whatever. Good. And with the ships we're making, we probably want to... I, we need other research slots, too, so... Um, we're going to keep going through whatever we can through the focus tree. I want to keep going down this way. Obviously, we can't. We still got to beat up the Brotherhood. But we're going to start focusing on this side of the focus tree here. Because I really want that research slot. And get another research slot as well. So once the peace deal is done here, or the truce is done, maybe we'll go to war. And it's good to just spend some time not being at war because our support robots are looking quite a bit better already. So overall, not bad. We'll make roughly five of each every day. Um, but once the lock is dead, that might be a little better just because we need consumer goods, man. Lightning! Because right now, it is eating us up. Where is it? The death of the father. That is destroying us a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit, but just a little bit. Uh, starting compliance. Um, compliance growth speed. We don't really need that too much. I'll come over here. Max factories in the state sounds pretty good to me. Networked AI, and we'll go with internal replicators for more recovery rate, better supply use, and more hardness and armor. Equipment capture ratio, not bad. Um, logistics. That, that's actually not bad. Helps you with supply usage a little bit more. But lowers, also gives you more initiative. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Frontline platoons. Does that include robots? It does, so you actually get more defense, too. We should probably get some special forces. Special forces are very nice to have. Uh, get these we need more scrap still. Oh my gosh. So that's nice. Let's go and grab this next. We could still go to war with these guys. They only have 41 divisions, but that's roughly double our numbers. If they were to go to war with the Bayou Motors, because we could cover, cover here all the way through here and a little bit over here too. I just don't think we have enough divisions yet to really do that. That's what you care about here. Not too much. I want to get to them before they unite with Lone Star, but we'll see. I don't know. Just gotta give us a little bit more time. Much royalty. Koto Jaguar. No manpower, huh? Yeah, the group does, so you'll probably lose. Nice. Uh, Spectres, another city, please. Urbanization is good. Uh, this one gives you slightly more political power, which doesn't really mean too much, since we need energy to core stuff. It costs 90, which is insane. For more connected states, so... Is it worth it? Honestly, not really, but we're going to do it anyways. Ah, there they go. So with that in mind... And this way, we have enough time to do that, too. Going to repair. 69%, nice. Get rid of resistance. I don't want resistance. Form department, not bad. Jose Areas. Moctezuma Fractures. Astro Lux's memory finally decays to his last bank. Another one of his sons has risen up from his fractured circuitry. Moctezuma. The greatest emperor of the Aztecs has returned to power in the southern region of Tlalocan. There's no question that Moctezuma's ambition and desire to see the Atzalani crush. The only question is, when will he strike? And Maximilian Fractures as well as Tlaloc's demise. Rest in peace. Acceptance. Get around the torch of liberty. Or, uh, whatever. Uh, maybe not liberty. These guys are actually losing. Huh. Wow. He walked on water. Tlaloc was not sent out a new human. He did not feel shame or pride or despair the way Anna did, but did that not make him a better person? He never acted out of anger. He never killed a prisoner out of irritation. He was always cool, calculating, and calm. Then why did his father send him a message that said, Be better than me? I will be like you, father. I will be just like you. So I'll replace the death of the father with the eldest son. Nice. So 
So now, we actually get political power, better consumer goods, actual stability, and war support, and we lose research speed. I'm okay with that. Take out some, uh, these guys before they can do too much damage to us. How is Gloria doing so well? I gotta play them again. Hopefully they, the devs fix whatever issue they had there. It's so hard to see if you're actually in here or not. Well, they're not, because they have to repair. Just simple light damage, that's all. Look at all that. One, 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 one. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, they're just fighting against us anyways. It doesn't matter. We'll kill them off anyways, too. There you go. And here we go. That was being focused because we don't have it. Just fine, honestly. Northern Rivals. The Republic of the Rio Grande is the greatest obstacle to my plans for uniting the glorious nation of Mexico. With ties to the Texas Brotherhood, provocations sent to the Legion, and rising support for their own brand of misguided Mexican nationalism, something needs to be done about them. It's time to look at my options. Oh, nice. Crap ton of caps. Nice, we can't do that one. Um, fight a border war with Rio. Well, too bad, too late. Um, that's fine. We'll be fine. Well, you landed. We're going to take as much land as we possibly can, then take out that part of Texas, too. Go ahead. Go in. Have fun. Oh, the older brother. Oh, sophisticated exploitation technology. Already my siblings have wasted no time to begin their petty squabbling. This has gone on long enough. They dare thread where he once stood. Um, fight and bleed as people dry in the name of their madness. No more. It is time to show them why I am the older brother. Against the emperor. The Meta Emperor has risen. An empty and airy parody of Maximilian I, controversial of still well established historical figure, already the puppet taking his name seeks to bring Mexico under his iron fist and reform into a horrible absolute monarchy to the detriment of its people. I will not allow this lunacy to happen. Ex Ejercito Libertor del Sur. Nice. What happened over here? Oh, I guess we won't. I guess the world will never know. There you go. We'll be fine. Hey, less than 700 combat robots needed. Nice. Very nice. So, 2,000. We've done 52% already. Nice. That's pretty good. Railway reconstruction and uh, mandatory service. Oh, do we do something here? Nice. Well, we're going this way because I want to get some more daily air XP and whatnot and stuff like that. So, oh, good. Better recovery rate, yes, please. The fall of the hangdogs. Beautiful. Oh, we could be doing better in some areas here. I'm sure they can pierce this quite well. Finally, we have 15. Oof. Uh, I wouldn't mind going to Evercap for the army, in all honesty. That wouldn't be bad. I don't replicators. Nice. Now we're gonna go here. Gambry's found something. Ooh, more political power? Okay. It looks like there might have been an encirclement here, maybe. Anniversary. Cap of the army. Nice. Looking pretty good. Ooh, six convoys. Nice. Hey, it's level two. Three, uh, level skill three on attack. Nice. Uh, now, Gloria is completely surrounded. Glory Falls. Beautiful. I don't want ugly borders, so. There you go. Uh, you know what? We'll take this one too. Oh, it's a little ugly. Yeah, we have to go with basic. Alright, well. Hmm. <laughs> you guys up here? Keys are Armageddon. Rio has fallen. 
But Rosado has been executed outside her dark laboratory, trying, found trying to experiment on the program that created the lock. Uh, Guerra and his forces have surrendered, and now resort to guerrilla tactics. That's what's trying to fend off the uh, Steel Legions. And Mora has been taken prisoner. Now last, and as the conquest is done, now last, Armageddon Station, as well as the secrets were safe. Beautiful. What is this? Mandatory service revival. Baja country, huh? Santa has a singular goal of making sure that a small section of Mexico is capable of sustaining his armies and military aspirations in the long run. For this purpose alone, a great deal of funding and political pressure has been poured into an initiative to kickstart the anemic economy. As you can see, we're trying to save the game here. Um, but a mandatory military employment? Or a mandatory civilian employment? Or divided mandatory employment? Which one do we favor? Honestly, I kind of want to favor civilian stuff. Factory output, military factory construction speed. Uh, I'll do both. I'll divide it. Divide it in half. Um, we're going to go with this one next. Because I just want to get down to a, or another research slot. I want a research slot badly. Yeah. And it gives us more time to get a few more bots going. There you go. Nice. Get from above. Alright, so after that one, superior subroutines. Yep, I read that one last time too. What is this one? Open minded approach. Father believed in the northern democracy of the Rio Grande, and so should I not give him the chance as well? President Mora says he wants to unite Mexico under a single banner, a single system, and glorious new democracy to rival the tales of the old world. Maybe there's a place in this new nation for someone such as myself. Three negotiations, for the negotiations with the Democratic Republic would be both in our interests. I know they are still very tense about our agreement. We shall trade resources for now to further our alliance, and possibly someday we'll be able to unite in our quest to reform, reform Mexico into the proud nation it once was, and then tense negotiations. There's no one left now. No one but myself. I am all alone, without guidance. Yet the hardest choice I've ever had to make is ahead of me. Mora seeks the last key to Armageddon, to open the station together and unlock what lurks within. Am I to trust the Republic? Be by its side on this historical day. Father, is this what you meant when you asked for me to do better? Whatever happens, I will make you proud. Yeah, probably not. Well, we already took him out. And Daddy's probably still proud of us. And that's what matters. Work on robots. Good. Only, oh, well, we don't get enemy caps. Secret sauce? Nice. Uh, we'll need more trade nodes. Actually, is anything down here a trade node? Well, technically. TAA. You might have gained your independence for now. But that independence is going to be very temporary. Nice. Let's grab that. Ah, good. You could always go to war. Oh, the Provisional Republic of Texas. Well, they already formed. God dang it. Yeah, to fight them, we're going to need more divisions and just stronger divisions in general. We didn't make uh, at least one plane company, though. One wing of planes. Oh, here they are. I told him train, but whatever. That'd be good. Now let's see what else can we do here. Energy cell gain still not bad. Factory up is only five percent. Eh, industrial concerns. I mean, we're gonna build up all that stuff anyways. Let's go with that one. So after that one, then we'll do the the older brother, and then against the emperor. Or we're just going to war with these guys anyways right now. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We did that over here first. Maybe. Go and grab that. Thruster engines. iBots. Uh, there we go. Of course, there is an opening here down here too, which is not ideal. Now they won't be able to guard this entire area, but we'll leave our area open and exposed. If we move fast enough through here, that should be good enough. Yeah, we could try it. Yeah, we could definitely try it. There you go, La Pesca. Maybe we should put it right there. Um, we need 100 for this one. More soft attack, more hard attack, good stuff like that. Superior subroutines. Good. Older brother. 
Ah. <sighs> Good, because I wanted more plane stuff. Nine days left, and then we'll get another C and C bot. Information relays hurts pretty much everything again. Frontline platoons, frontline robots get an improvement. Ability to equip our divisions with a second attachment of CNC robots. And what is initiative? Initiative is. Initiative. It's initiative. Sounds important. And more coordination. Well, we'll see. Oh, look at that. Build, rebuild Tempico Station. Rebuild the Reynosa Station. Well, we got the PP for it. Might as well spend it, right? Alright. You guys stop doing that. Do that real quick. One division or one ship needs to get refitted. Or maybe not refitted, but just repaired. Which is fine, whatever. Alright, let's see what happens. You guys immediately get attacked, so we're going to start attacking you ourselves. Oh, they got enforcers now. So we got to get to Laredo fast, 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 fast. Get to Gloria, you cut them off all right there. Go up and down the coast a little bit. Oh, they're forcing the defense now, look at that. Oh, it doesn't work out for them. Because we are we're just running through their division. Oh, look at that, nice. Good. You go there, you go right there. Just go ahead and cut them off. Get down there fast. Almost 100 army XP. And... Old World Blue sucks. Uh, good. Oh, we got that one. Nice. Beautiful. Don't let them through. As much as possible. Oh, look at that. Oh, they wanted to leave. But the Navy said no. Not bad. The older brother against the Emperor. Beautiful. <sighs> Alright, not bad. Wait, so how many... So TWA had a trade node. I'm disabled right now. And Gloria had a trade node. So now we have two more trade nodes. We should never need to fuss about money again then. Love it. Combine arms, good. Okay, special forces eventually, like I said. Pecos. I kind of want to go to war with Pecos. But we're doing against the Emperor, so. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. And then half the army will split up from this guy and go right there. Maybe we did that instead, actually. I'm gonna hire another general. Even though we already have another general in mind already, but whatever. There you go. Good. 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 Learn fast. Learn fast. There you go. Now that's what we like to see. Anything here? Level five. That's good. Should be good on this line over here. So I'm a little, a little more worried, but over here at the top should be good. Nice. Economic resurgence, travel scout kits, crowd control. There you go. If you can do that, that'd be great. 20 is good. That's looking good. Um, Sure, why not? Why not? Keep building those roads up. We can see Emperor. And human sacrifices. Never in my existence have I felt such loathing, such hatred for another being. Disgusting, abominable, pawn that dared to cause itself Moctezuma. You have the audacity to make a mockery of father's legacy. You stand here today, using his databanks to slaughter his people, to drown the land and blood for your own meaningless conquests. Shockingly, I feel that I will enjoy tearing you apart immensely. Oh, look at this. And then Prezari. Well, we can read that in just a little bit. Ooh. Well, let's go with this one. I could use more cities. Why not? Good, 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 good. My god, we're gonna need more scrap, aren't we? Alright, so they immediately start attacking us over here, which I'm actually okay with. Keep leveling a little bit more. We get more Hills Fighter, Urban Assault Specialist, Jungle Rat Invader. But, well, you're not gonna get Invader there, but whatever. Do it again. I want to see you do it again. Because if not, we're just gonna go, go to town on you guys. Put him in their place. 
Darn it, are they not going to do it again? Oh god dang it. Alright, whatever. Go in. Monterey will be ours. Probably going over here a little bit. Uh, the top is going very nicely. Become a desert fox still, maybe even a, a hill slider. God, I love drinking. Anyways. Good. Liniers is ours. Ah, more robots. Love it. So who's next? This little crane is nice. Let's uh, wait for, for what we really need. Well, and human sacrifice next. So each one is going to be pretty thin up here. That's all right. I always do it like this, and then you will just go right there. And then you and I are just going to hang out and have a good old time. That's how it usually works out. Twenty five. You're looking good. A lot more scraps, too. Awesome. And human sacrifice followed up with what? The Peasant Rebellion. In my time, I have learned much from the history of Mexico. Zapata's ideal lives on to this day in its people and in their hearts, even if the name itself, as well as history, has been forgotten decades ago. The pale copy taking on his name is nothing but a usurper, threatening to bring this glorious nation to its knees once again. I would not let this happen. Yeah, we could use more scrap. I love just being able to take out enemies. Another trade note, finally online. Uh, I'm sure we get more piercing. Focus arrays, why not? 38 caps a month. Oh my god, so nice. Uh, so extend Thrax into Ciudad Valles. And into Forlorn Slipway. You know what, screw it. Bonus medical stuff? Why not? Actually, we could probably use State Fund Radio. That's actually pretty strong. Get more political power, a little more caps income, diplomacy distance is okay. And two free radar stations? Well, it's, it's all for a cost still. Wa raise Wasteland uh, Intelligence Budget is also quite good as well. We'll get that though. Brother! Die! <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Ooh, now they're going to go over Bayou Motors. And all this time we're building ourselves up more and more and more just so that we can get a war with Texas too. Uh, beautiful Texas. Last Lodge. Also, as I said before in any of my campaigns, if I have ever like miss a nation in the order, I've had a protector. Holy crap, that looks awesome. And in and, and terms of... Uh, Like the A to Z series, please let me know in the comments below. Is this Vault City? I think this is. Yeah. End of a term, yeah. Vault City is a lot of fun. I love Vault City. Santa Anna's birthday, and the human sacrifice. Because at this point, we're pretty strong, and we can probably just go to wherever we need to. And take up anybody that we really need. So. Do they go fight us? Oh, yes, they do, but we're going to fight them too. Because we're better on attack than defense. And general robots are just better on attack than defense. In my experience. Not ideal, but that's okay. You gotta get down there. If you do that, you cut all these robots off in the north and they're pretty much dead. Beautiful. Alright, robots. So we add the second one on. You get slightly better recovery rate, better defense, more breakthrough, more soft attack, more heart attack. No, not a lot, but a little more. Uses more supply, but better suppression, which doesn't matter. More energy cell capacity, which doesn't matter too much. You get more organization, which is good, and more HP, but it does lower the armor amount, which is not fantastic, but whatever. But I do love my Troplane Attackers. Good. You help out, just mop up everyone in the north here. Because they're actually expanding quite a bit against us, which is not ideal. Which is why I want them under us. These guys are struggling for supplies, kind of like us, but whatever. We're struggling a lot more than I thought we would, in all honesty. <laughs> Losses, 29 versus... They're losing more than us, though. And, well, they've, they've lost a lot more than us now. Good, 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 good. Oh, Santa Ana. Did you learn anything else? Uh, precious loyalty. I want tough leader, but whatever.
go and basically fresh units coming out here to do the job. Nice. Hey, Lockreed. Ooh, I like Lockreed. This is not bad too, because you get. I want to use Cast, and that's good for reliability, agility, and ground attack. Oh, and we got him. I think it would take me too long to do that. Thank you very much. And a god fearing robot, huh? And though, and lo, though Tlaloc was not flesh and bone, I chose to believe he still had a heart and as well as a soul. Mexicans find souls in the words of the Lord, and so should I, for what am I but a humble servant of his people? You may rest com comforted for all eternity, Father. Your legacy legacy shall not be sullied. Catholic teachings. No, let's go to this one next, though. Quite a few divisions. Three, two, one, and let's grind. Santa Ana. He can have up to eight divisions. Or eight armies, not divisions. <sighs> what a beautiful thing. Focusing arrays, more organization. If you focus down here, you would have done these guys a favor probably by killing them off earlier. But oh well. Yes. How are we doing here? Um, you're just gonna start doing the legion because at this point we're just gonna start rolling towards everybody. Oh, beautiful. Are you learning any more? Coming close fighter, good. Uh, Jose de Ura, Orea. Ah, beautiful. Honestly, having a huge board of these free fighters might be worth it. Because they always like to get involved with other stuff, and I don't like fighting them sometimes. That would be very annoying to fight. Keep working on military factories, though. Oh my god, we've got so much to build. That's alright. We're gonna. I, my goal for this campaign is to literally unite all of Mexico and take out the Legion. So at least be one more episode after this one. Because it's going to take some time killing off everybody. And absorbing them into the United Mexican States, basically. No infrastructure and radiation wastes. It's alright, that's why we got robots to do the job for us. Wow, 6,000. <laughs> After taking those guys off, uh, or off or like through them, so good, so good. And a Robco factory reactivation. Alright, did you actually win your war? Are you still at war with them? How are you still at war with them? That makes no sense. I would like to build up... Uh, oh, no, it's already 5 out of 3. Nice. Ship-wise, we're looking pretty good, too. More screens, very good. Go ahead. Uh, they sent almost all of their entire army to, like, somewhere else to help them out. Wow. What a mistake. Getting over there is sometimes a little difficult. Vice royalty took out. Who did they take out? Oh, the other cartels probably. That's fine. Whatever. I guess we can start focusing on some more special forces divisions, because why not? Or more, or just start focusing on them just a little bit, maybe. Spec Ops. How much does it cost still? Five? That's not good enough. Oh, we actually have Super Mutes, too. Well, I mean, technically... That would actually hurt us quite a bit. Yeah. Let's make Super Mutant equipment or something. Ooh, better factories. Oh, that's please. So nice. 
Ouroboros. I want to get over here because usually these, one of these two becomes a capital once we take the actual capital. Uh, Rios Mokis. Which sucks. Oh, you're still fighting them, that's why. Uh, these guys are down. We're gonna definitely do this. Might as well. Lost about 2,000, roughly. We've lost five. Nice. And this special forces could not stop us. Then again, who could? All right. Can we just take them all? There we go. All right. That works. this too. So uh, from here on out, we're going to probably make at least one milli, one city at all times, because that just makes sense to me. I'll keep expanding our industry, making more military factories too. That's good, we got that done. We're going to making some triplane attackers. Very good. We get more cores, but I understand why we don't get cores on our guys, or on our lands here, just because it has to keep, the devs have to keep this somewhat balanced versus like the Legion and the NCR and whatnot, and everyone else who wants to kill us off. So, but, man machine, you're ready this game, please go ahead. Beautiful. Yes! Are we down there? Yes, we are. So I knew they were going to immediately attack down here. As long as they can hold it, I don't really care. Uh, the robot's going to come smashing through here. Makeshift bridges. Do we need makeshift bridges? Uh, probably not. Mass assault. Combat damage. I don't think we have many force. Let's do it anyways. Nice. So we're done with our land auction over there. Which is good. I'll come over here for a portable radio. So it hurts our energy cell gain per energy, but better calves, diplomacy distance. I like the decryption bonus. That's nice. Oh, and we, uh, we're going to actually do this. I always do the left ones because, honestly, most of the time, by the time you get an Air Force and Old World Blues, you really don't need uh, this one because the one on the right is more about trying to... Basically, it's one that you know that you can't really build a big Air Force up, so you use what you can to help like intercept enemy planes. Sometimes you might need that, but by the time you can build yourself up, you don't really need it too much. Pragmatic aviation is not bad. That's for air superiority, and this decisive engagement is one, I think, for uh, CAS. So that's the way I, guess I do it. I could be wrong. I could be completely dead wrong. But I don't think I am, at least in this case. Some other cases, sure. And I'm going to go this way, too. Okay, we've had enough fun there. Go ahead. Because the capital is El Foro, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get to. Because then after these guys, these guys are killing each other off, so we want to let them kill each other off. Cartel? Because when we're all good and done here... Holy crap, 72. Um, That's all just destroyers? Holy crap. Oh, uh, here. You can have a crap ton of screens then. 72. That's what the Free Fighters were making? Jesus Christ. Pioneer kits. Sure. Since I decided to do this one next, it's fine. Nice. That's right, we get more screens. Oh my god! All they've been doing is just making screens from the very beginning of the, like, the campaign. Holy good fathers. There you go. Uh, there you go. Let's get rid of, ooh, West Tech Schematics, that's nice. So slowly we're starting to run out of manpower, which is slightly concerning, because we will lower how much manpower we have? Well, we'll have in a little bit. No chief of the navy. That's fine. Whatever. 
Ah, when does it expire? Doesn't, good. I'd like to be able to core more stuff, but not so much. Or they're not attacking us, let's go in. The mighty Mexican robot army. Hey, another trade node. Beautiful. So after them, uh, we could go to war with Shows. I might just go to war with the. Well, let's go to war with the Provisional Republic of Texas. They're next. Because Beckles Colony, I think they can get declared war upon by Kaiser's Legion, and I want to avoid that for as long as we can for now. Do we have any other planes? Like, fighters. Not bad. There we go. Go, I want some cast. We have a single cast plane. There you go. Do what you can. You caught it, huh? There's where we build the nukes. Rapid prototyping is good. We have a lot of Mexico under control. My god, Southern Mexico Mexico is just on fire. That's so good. Love it. Um, go to this one next, why not? And let me guess, you got like 73 destroyers. Okay, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's alright, it's only 52 this time. So 10 battle cruisers, 12 light cruisers, and 75 destroyers in this group. Seven battle cruisers, seventeen light cruisers, and seventy-three destroyers. I hate destroyers because they don't do very much for us right now. Nine battle cruisers, thirteen light cruisers, sixty-two. Oh my God, <laughs> six research slots. I love Santana. I oh I love playing as him. I don't love trying to beat him because it can be very very difficult trying to beat the crap out of him. Side channel attack this guy. Um, equipment capture ratio is still not bad. But recovery rate, I mean, they need I mean, better recovery rate overall. Uh, what do we else do we have here? Uh, I'll keep going over here. Honestly, I, we still need political power, don't get me wrong. We don't need it as much. Heaven's Gate, I can't wait to play as him again. Um, I think Texas was next, wasn't it? Yeah, because everyone else is just killing each other. Which is more than fine with me. So you guys will stay over there. You guys will stay over here. Fifteen. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna take you guys. Uh, you know what? Make another army because the front line is just gonna crumble up here. I know for a fact. So we actually have to hire someone new. Ooh, if we did that. Go field commander. A lot of promotions. I want someone without a promotion. Fast shot, perceptive details. Inspiration, good. I'm going to need you guys, like, here or something. I don't know where. Supplies are very bad, though. Oh, God. Oh, good. God, no. Uh, there you go. Oh, I can't build roads, though. God dang it. Uh, here. Build a port. That will help out. Build two ports. Yeah, we read this one last time, too. Might as well do that one, too. Oh. Oh, that's just a lot of like cool. And we're done with the naval option. Nice. I did say I want to focus more on naval stuff, but it doesn't look like that's really going to happen right now. Now, is it? Uh, we're discouraging traders. We can distrust outsiders, too. That wouldn't be bad. Because we kind of do distrust outsiders. Not going to lie. Our supply is really not good. F4. Getting at least a little bit of supply through here will help out. This tile and this tile. And really this tile a little bit more. Do we make it? We have one more down here, which is good. Armor hardening. Uh, let's keep going with robots. iBots. Does it help out a little bit more? Hopefully. Monoplane attackers are good. So, let's save and see what happens. I might just end up being a big old grind fest between us and them. Um, which is honestly not a bad thing. Because we got quite a few focuses I can do off screen and whatnot that we've read before to help improve our industry and whatnot. So, 
But Texas, huh? Bureau Tejas. Alright. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, it's still war with Bayou Motors. Ooh, maybe we should stop training. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Find the Texas Navy. Uh, El Banco de Avio. Economic mi micromanagement is a painful, arduous task that sometimes leaves a common man penniless and oppressed. No longer. I'll reform our banking system to prioritize local services. And fighting towards growth. No Mexicans shall be left behind, and all will enjoy the freedom of opportunity they deserve. Ah, see, they started attacking us just a little bit. So they've lost 3,000. 4,000 almost. They're really not attacking us, though. Which I'm kind of sad about. Am I not good enough for you? Of course, they're fighting over that waterway, which really sucks for them, but... Who cares? So the next thing we're going to do is raise our conscription level, because we need more manpower. Los Ferros? More of many throughout our land, so seem as a common man, no better than the many leaders that came before. And grow tired of the lack of change. The vast reforms of uh, <clears throat> the common laws to protect the people against larger interests and unlawful actions should let me gain their support. El Banco. Del Banco. El Banco. Banco, Banco, Banco. Ah, supplies are looking much better here already. Um, the department. Oh, compliance growth speed plus 25%. Holy crap. Oh, when dealing with the Estudios Unidos Mexicanos. This nation does not need a set of independent or even autonomous regions. I'll reorganize it into a department under my control, starting with the Estados Unidos Mexicanos. They'll learn of my achievements and my, my promises. I'll protect Mexico and care for its people. Whether they accept this fact or are dragged screaming into a better tomorrow is their choice. The Empresarios. Uh, Todd Howitzer is still no friend of Texas or Rio, but nor is he a friend of Mexico. So he's not the best upstart foreigner, the first one to start to serve La Patria. 19th century Mexico provided grants known as Empresarios to those who ruled the land in exchange for the responsibility of settling the land. Why should we not recognize Todd's Empresario along the Rio Grande so long as he supports us, as Todd says, Simplemente Funcional. A Funciona. They're really not attacking us. Do we have to attack them? God dang it. More piercing? Sure, why not? Better CNC robots? Yes. I bots. Did you literally do anything here? Probably not, in all honesty. Okay, that's good to know. Um. Mm. Oh, we're doing more right there. It's good to see. How strong is Texas in general? Clear the way. 92 divisions, 7,000 manpower. That's a crap in a manpower. Uh, can you guys do anything here, perhaps? Yeah. Their divisions must not... They were just melting them. Alright. Can you do anything over here? Yeah. You might save Bayou Motors. You know, I probably will kill them in the end, too. I would just go to war with them as well. I mean, you could try it, I guess. Law enforcement? Why not? Oh, we're out of manpower, too, so we're going to grab this. Yeah, it's going to hurt stability a little bit, but that's alright. Alright, well, we're doing okay, so far. We've killed out 3,000 of them already, holy crap. We're taking only 20 casualties, which is good, because we have no manpower left. Military sending on bonuses. That one stay first. Del Banco. We are we are moving fast into their territory. Holy crap! Like my god, I did not expect it to be this fast. We gotta keep an eye on our energy cells as well, though. Honestly, you might just want to do this, too. You guys come over here and just help out this region. Uh, yeah. You guys are struggling down here, but... Other than that, we're doing really well with these guys. Too well. Why are we doing so well? I'll go and grab that one. We're going to need that. That's turning red, which is not good. We don't need those anymore too much. Um... Chiquil? 
A few remember today, but the sap of the sapo dilla tree can soothe nerves, especially when laced with other compounds. We'll sell this product to mass to replace our more harmful homemade alternatives and help fill the coffers to finance further reforms. Promote tobacco cultivation. Mexico was once a great producer of tobacco, but its production was discouraged before the Great War by North uh, Americano occupiers. Promoting tobacco growth as well as usage could encourage Mexicans to switch from Baron Garcia's coffee and reduce their harmful influence on our citizens. Oopsie, hello. Yeah, we're doing ridiculously well. Holy crap. This is exactly what I wanted, though, truth be told. There you go. Anything here? Robotics expert, yes. Centralization, nice. Um, my god. It's just like a slaughter. Five, twelve thousand. Nice. We're struggling a little bit over there. We're struggling a little bit. A collapse of brother control in Texas. Word from Texas reached ears across the way, so it's not good. The provisional Republic of Texas, the largest power in the region, is supposedly close to being overrun by El Ejercito Mexicano. Its forces are stretched thin, with their outposts going silent as the control over the land slips. Raiders within the territories that were active even before this are now raining hell upon uh, caravans and settlements with a brotherhood unable to respond. Reported their leader Edward J. Rusk have been fighting alongside their forces in the streets of Dallas. Can the provisional Republic of Texas recover, or will Texas be under control of a new power? Texas will be ours. All of their t armies are dying. Oh my god. They have 88 divisions left. We've not encircled and destroyed too many enemy divisions yet. But still. Good. Mobilize more. Honestly, we're good too. We honestly need the mobilization speed. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Why can't we do this? Oh, we don't have enough bottle caps. Oh crap. We have nine. They would. Well, that's. I would say a mistake, but whatever. Whatever. Try with us. Keep helping them out. And by helping them out, I mean kill them off. Except right here, which sucks. But whatever. Go, 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 go. Get to Paris. Just kill these divisions off if you can. We need them gone. Right now. I don't think we'll get those guys done, but whatever. This is very troublesome for us. Good. 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 Nice. Engine advancements. They're gonna cut us off, aren't they? Come on. It's alright, once we get these guys done, it'll be fine. Wow, we're all the way in Huma? Mississippi? Is this Mississippi? Dead, it's Deadland. That goop is good. Get up and go. You guys are done over there. Nice. I need you guys to start worrying about this group here. Good. Up over here. Because now we're in circle, god dang it. Go, 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 go. We'll take those guys out fine, no worries. Cut off 22,000 of them. God dang. Well, we're gonna go this way. Prevent them from taking everything here. Because we can't quite grab everything yet. Nope, it's ours. Nope. Crap. Oh, he just took out Texas. Don't let him leave. I guess up next would be Shell's army. Well, we started running out of caps in this camp. Well, not even a campaign, but the episode. Now I got a crap ton of caps. Please, Protectrons. 
And a little bit of manpower too. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh, gotta finish that one up. And actually, that's another Trino too. So we've almost got him. Why not? Beautiful. Almost all of northern Mexico is ours, except for these low legion spots here and there, but still. Ah, uh, you got a virus with us. A little more immediate map bars, very nice. Okay, what's going on down here? Come on. Should be done by now. But we'll do this one next. Beautiful. And they are done, right? Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, we'll take all 70 or 50 some all screen ships. Nice. Uh, pick up the haciendas or break them up. My lands have been for the longest time united in haciendas, run by the local state first and then the people second. History shows that those haciendas are harmful to both economic growth and the liberty of the people. I'll break them into individual properties to help local development and lay by that action, also gain the loyalty of many villages affected. And modernize Monterrey. Monterey was once a gem of the northern Mexico, indeed. In 1847, I fought the Norado Americanos to a standstill outside its walls. Outnumbered, outgunned, I tactically advanced in the opposite direction, a draw which rankles me still. Nevertheless, by upgrading the city, all will know that Mexico is once more in my firm hands. But we're going to end the episode there. We're doing, we did very, very well in this episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do with Santa Ana and his Mexican army. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, 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 tremendous rest of your day.